Hey, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from, as well as the other Patreon-exclusive content, head over to patreon.com slash rap rankings. And please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting to help us grow the channel and continue our journey as hip-hop's first and premier extreme podcast. And please, if possible, consider giving us five stars on whichever podcast platform you're listening on to help us continue our journey as hip-hop's first and premier extreme podcast. Track one, More Wins, produced by The Alchemist. Six plus. Eight minus. Sting me, baby. Wow. I love this beat. It's one of the top beats on the album for me. And that's like like any of my eights tonight are in that pantheon. Like when I think of this album, I was saying on the background, I have more to say about Alchemist here. Mm -hmm. It feels like Alchemist last stand production wise as a guy who makes beats that actually have like some knock to them. Right. Like after this album, I think we got like Israeli salad and, retarded alligator beats and then he started producing a lot more for like the Griselda dudes and adjacent acts and before you know it you know he's kind of moving on more into the quote-unquote drumless lane of production though he does you know still occasionally we just did that uh Benny the Butcher first listen not too long ago which he produced like half of and He's still using drum programming on some of his beats. It just feels like, to me, this is the last full album of true alchemist beats in the ah, 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 alchemist kind of vein, you know, 1999 to 2014. And that's the era I most appreciate from him. And that's the era that earned him the title of being one of my favorite producers of all time. So like, as an intro, this beat is really like, immediately giving me a lot of goodwill. I feel like it immediately pulls you in. It gives you a good taste of what to expect from the album. You know, evidence up first, he calls himself Mr. Slow Flow. So his delivery is always very calm. I think it works better for me personally in dilated peoples contrasting with Raka's voice than it does here contrasting with Alchemist, who, as I was saying, big fan of him as a producer, never been all in on him as a rapper. I think he can rap, but the raps are filled with a lot of nonsense. I don't know if we've heard the true Alchemist since a song called Different Worlds with Big Twins. So I brought that song in. He did this record... It was originally for the Fat Beats compilation or one of these Fat Beats compilation albums. And then on his debut, kind of like, what do you call them? Like producer compilation type albums. Mm -hmm. First Infantry, he slightly remixed it and put it on there as well. I think this is the best Alchemist rap song to this day. So geez, I don't even know how old this one is now. I think it's from like 2001 or something like that. It's old, you know? So the point of the record is Alchemist and Big Twins talk about the different worlds that they came from. Alchemist growing up in Beverly Hills and Big Twins growing up in Queensbridge and how different it was for them. And then I guess also their similarities ultimately. So I don't often ask you to do this. Can you play this whole record? Uh, different worlds. Yeah, I want. I just want to illustrate why, at this point in time, I'm not really into Alchemist as a rapper. Okay. Now, this song I'm going to play, I'm really into it. I wish we got more of it, but that would require Alchemist to stop lying in the present. <laughs> okay, well... Here we go. The uh, the true alchemist, the real guy, before he turned into, I guess, like a fake action Bronson sort of guy. <laughs> but here we go. Two different places. 
Inside a paper sack I used to keep my Raiders hat to the back You said fuck going to class Never good at math But I knew how to add up cash Watch niggas get splashed Watch niggas live fast And watch niggas get turned from present to past I used to win the spelling bees I knew my ABCs My family wanted me to become a PhD It was a possibility They had big plans for me I never had shit Always had it all We used to play with guns We used to play ball I used to pump cracks In school I paid attention I was a hard head I always used to listen We turned bitches out I used to love them hoes We wore hand-me-downs I always had new clothes I used to stay bent I couldn't hold my liquor It's kinda bugged out Two different stories in one picture First year high school My parents noticed me slipping Smoking cigarettes Skipping class Catching detention Every night all I heard was freeze Niggas getting back by the D's And some bitch that got a disease Fourteen and watching your MTV rap from 40 inch screens I learned how to tilt my cap and sag my jeans Wanted gazelle frames with the big rope chains Me and my brother used to snatch those From niggas riding on the train I was on my way to River Park Jams They had it popping done Seemed like back in the day it was more fun If I could go back in time I would take you with me Show you what it's like to live a lifestyle so risky I put in work on rhymes and beats While you was putting work on the streets It's bugged out Whoever would have thought that we'd meet But it's this rap shit that made us click That made us friends quick It put us in a studio so we can make hits I never had shit I always had it all We used to play with guns We used to play ball I used to pump cracks In school I paid attention I was a hard head I always used to listen We turned business out I used to love them hoes We wore hand-me-downs I always had new clothes I used to stay bent I couldn't hold my liquor It's kinda bugged out Two different stories in one picture I never thought that I would make it rapping It wasn't until I moved to Manhattan I really started to make shit happen Around the time Shook ones was still Starting to blow We were drinking E double while and out of the show My man Muggs introduced me to Unity and G.O.D. Y'all took me to have P and treated me like family And you can't forget about my thuns, know it and got it I remember when y'all couldn't even pronounce my name It's kinda crazy when I think about how much shit changed you Remember the first time I hit the bomb? I was doing it wrong Choking so much till my high was gone then we show you how to roll up Dutchie, then it was home. I never had shit, I always had it all. We used to play with guns, we used to play ball. I used to pump cracks, in school I paid attention. I was a hard head, I always used to listen. We turned bitches out, I used to love them hoes. We wore hand me downs, I always had new clothes. I used to stay bent, I couldn't hold my liquor. It's kinda bugged out, Two different stories in one picture. That's the first time we ever heard Alchemist actually rap. I like that. That was a good song. But this is the thing, right? Mm -hmm. You do a song like that, you can't be talking like this. <laughs> well, if you're going to do the kayfabe thing, I feel like that a song like this can't exist. Well, here's the thing, right? I, I I would say you can't come in the game like your first raps can't be one thing. I mean, obviously they can't. You can do whatever you want, but like it's like when you how you we talk about this how you enter the game is what people will expect from you, and if you're going to go a different direction, you should do it as early as possible, because after a certain point people aren't going to tolerate certain things from you because they I'm just know saying, we, we might have found out some things about rick ross but he didn't his first song ever isn't like i'm a co 
and right. you're he was always kayfabing, you know, and yeah, it's it's like, I mean, here's my question. So that song, I liked it. Did he rap shortly again after that, or did he just pop up again years later, rapping again, sounding different? Um, he rapped a little bit, but not really. Like, here's the thing: he rapped a lot more around the time he formed Gangrene with Oh No and formed Step Brothers with Evidence. So I'd say like late 2000s. Right. Okay. Got it. It's interesting though, because, you know, I, I wonder, it's like sometimes though, you could you could argue maybe this, what we're hearing on Lord Stevington is maybe what he always wanted to be. And he had to like find that voice of like the outlandish guy. Like maybe that is really him. And this first, like these early songs are him just kind of going with the flow of what's expected or like who's rapping around him. It's hard to say. I mean, I don't know the guy um, personally or as closely musically as you do, but like, for instance, I came in the game rapping like Lil Wayne. I don't sound like that anymore. You know, so it's like, it's it's hard, it's hard to know, as I've been known to say, <laughs> you know, but I definitely prefer that song and that rapping to a lot of what I'm going to be talking about tonight. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm glad you brought that in, though, because that uh, that can be damning depending on how you're looking at it, because it's like, hey, wait, what happened to that guy? You know, give me that guy. But as far as this song specifically, uh, this applies to both of them. Alchemist and Evidence. Uh, the raps leave a bit to be desired. Now, they don't sound like amateurs. They're just not moving me with any of this content. And I'll apply this across the entire album. My issue with Evidence is he often sounds too insular. My issue with Alchemist is he's not good enough as a rapper to pop shit this consistently and this aggressively. So it's like, you know, I usually in like a, you know, a duo, you like to be able to at least lean on one guy if both of them aren't doing it for you. But my issue I'm going to have across this album is I'm really going to have to rely on the guests or one of the guys to have just like a really good night, so to speak, you know, but I'm a fan of this beat. Um, I actually really like this, uh, this beat, this big ringy snare in this beat. It's almost, I guess, like what the alchemist version of like Dr. Dre with like the big claps in his beats, but it's like the boom bat version. Admittedly, this beat reminds me of college because as we touched on briefly up top, uh, Hamilton was doing a lot of rapping on alchemist in 2012 when I was in college. So this just takes me back to that time in San Diego. Uh, yeah, the beats money. It makes me want to rap admittedly, but, uh, it's not about me. It's about them. And yeah, evidence is just, you know, never had a pretty woman keep me in the friend zone. Okay, bro. Uh, <laughs> means nothing to me, but phone's still off limits. Like a motherfucker slang and Mary. I guess that's like that, you know, don't call the weed man on the phone thing. Maybe right. is that what he's holding to? Yeah. Uh, Alchemist is rapping and, you know, it's like when he's like elegance is understated orchestrations leave you sedated. That can be good or bad depending on what he meant. And I can, I don't know. I would have to ask him because if it's like sedated can be a bad thing. Like you don't want to just like, I'm falling asleep. It's like, it's making me feel nothing. So it's like, is this just word salad? Because if it is, it's a bad line. But oh, I mean, it, it's kind. Of, I, that's kind of his style at this point. It's just rhyming, and <laughs> like, that's kind of where the disconnect comes for me. So, like, you know, Alchemist when he comes in off the back of uh, Evidence's verse, you know, he's got a lot of confidence. Unearned. That's one thing. <laughs> You know, that he doesn't lack as a rapper is like confidence on the track. He comes on the track lying about criminal activity and telling us about how good he is at rapping. And we know it's just it's all cap. It feels almost like misplaced confidence because while he is an all time producer, he's a very meat and potatoes rapper. And, you know, evidence being more of the straight man is 
they called him in part one in the background info, you know, is more plain spoken. He works for me better than hearing Alchemist spit what Mel calls like ill nothings, basically. Yeah. You know, and the thing is, like, Alchemist, he has the cadence and delivery of an ill rapper. But then you run it back and realize he's really not saying anything of note. He's just kind of there for me. Ev feels a little more, quote, real, for lack of a better word. His stuff's a lot more grounded. And even with those critiques, I'm feeling this beat so much, I can't go lower than an 8 minus. This is one of my favorite, not top 20, 25, but definitely top 50 Alchemist beats. He's got a lot of great beats. Okay, well, Alchemist, if by some chance you're a patron and you're listening, call in and explain how your orchestrations leave people sedated. Because I will say, in the case of this beat, if you meant this, yes, this beat actually relaxes me because I'm nostalgic for a period where I was hearing your beats heavily for the first time, and I think it's a good beat. Uh, but you got you to gotta clarify. Um, but like yeah, that, like that. Woo! Yeah, in the it's beat, a good you know? beat. Feels good. funny. Um, but he's just yeah, rum inside a cup, stomach rubbing, opinions borderline, jaded, stretch out accounts, blackboard, sketch out the routes, like Levi Denims and Crush Linen, kangaroo coat with the custom stitching, serve dishes, dirty soup kitchen, heavy hitter. It's like sure, man. <laughs> you know, like sure. Like I'll never like when I, I yeah, unearned confidence, but I, it's not like I want him to be not confident but like you know when a when a man comes on a track rapping like he's the goat and he's not it doesn't translate well to your ears you know it's so. like a skinny guy coming on the block full of bodybuilders talking about i'll house all of you you know <laughs> right it's like okay sh- sure man you know like yeah so six plus uh i'll take Eight my months. instrumental uh, all well, right. lucky for you, the whole album is available that way. It is. It is. All right. So, you want to move on? Yep. Hey, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from, as well as the other Patreon exclusive content, head over to patreon.com slash rap rankings. And please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting to help us grow the channel and continue our journey as hip-hop's first and premier extreme podcast.